are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we need to revisit the story about the Philadelphia Eagles apparently endorsing Kamala Harris. Now, this was not a true story whatsoever. This was some artist actually going around Philadelphia at bus stops and he made some art with Kamala Harris with an Eagles helmet on it and said that she was the official candidate of the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the Eagles come out and said, no, we didn't do this. We're actually trying to put a stop to it. But I guess apparently um, it really hasn't stopped yet because now, guys, we actually have an Eagles fan that is going around and covering up these fake ads. OK, now I find it interesting, guys, that um, this is actually happening in a super blue city. Maybe just maybe I don't know. I don't know. Philadelphia, man. Maybe this is the way that um, that uh, Democrats truly get um, a lot of power in big cities is through um, fake ads and stuff like that. But this one fan, man, he said enough. I'm doing this now. He did say he is a Republican, but he loves the Eagles. The Eagles are a sports team, but I don't believe that any team should actually be political. Now, when it comes to a team actually, you know, endorsing a candidate, the only one I can actually think of directly. Remember the um, Atlanta Dream WNBA back in um, back in 2020. The players actually had in a warm up shirts that said vote Warnock. Now, me, if I was actually running an NBA team or a WNBA team, I would say, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to make our game political, but that is the woke WNBA, not even the NBA. And we know the NBA man wants every single Democrat to actually go out there and um and win. Even the Warriors didn't even wear a shirt saying like vote Harris or vote Biden or anything like that, even though they wanted to win. The dream did that. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream. Every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You guys can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on Locals. Both for just $5 per month. Check the links in the description. So here we go. Right here. This prevents an honest election. Fan covers up fake ads claiming Eagles endorse Kamala Harris. And we actually do have a video clip here. It's actually from... um. Fox 29 in Philadelphia, they actually ran across a Philly Eagles fan uh, taping paper over the top of a Kamala Harris endorsement poster falsely attributed to the NFL team. Now, if I was actually running Eagles, man, I would be trying to sue the pants off of the guy that actually did this. I wouldn't want my team to be political one way or the other. I don't care if they was endorsing uh, President Trump. Or Kamala Harris, I wouldn't want anybody doing this. It says here, the NFL fan who said his name was Joe insisted that the counterfeit posters claiming that the team had officially endorsed Harris were concerning to him and had the potential to, quote, prevent an honest election. Yeah, I completely agree with that. Uh, the Fox cameras called Joe using a glue stick to paste an excerpt from a press release from the Eagles stating that the team has not endorsed Harris and is not responsible for the posters seen on Philly's mass transit bus shelters. Now, my, my question is, I don't know exactly when he did this here, but um, you would actually think it'd be pretty easy, you know, for somebody to say, hey, this is enough, man. I mean, the city should actually probably take, the, take those down. Uh, you know, it's considering, you know, the Eagles said this ain't us, but it didn't happen. You actually have just an everyday person saying enough is enough. But um, let's go ahead and uh, watch this uh, clip here of uh, Joe taping up these ads. Let's roll it. All right, Joe, why are you doing this? Well, this is a circumstance that's very concerning to me, Steve, because whoever put this in... 
inside this casing did several things. I'm a lifelong Philadelphia guy from South Philly. I love the Eagles, loyal to them to the end. Uh, I am a Republican, just to say that to you. You know, but my concern here is that we're not, is not that someone is expressing an opinion, which everyone's entitled to do, but this person is lying to everyone that comes and uses this stop. Okay, that's what I'm very concerned about. The fact that they're spreading lies that the Philadelphia Eagles endorsed uh, Kamala Harris as a candidate for president in the United States. We all know Philadelphia's the battleground for Pennsylvania. And these type of lies are the things that prevent uh, honesty in the election process. And I think that's what we have to promote, the integrity of the process. Everyone comes out to vote after they decide who to vote for. Now, in this respect, the Eagles already came out and made a statement earlier this afternoon. It's a holiday. Nobody's working. Seth is on a holiday schedule. So no one has come to remove this sign. It's a paper sign enclosed in a glass. There's two Allen wrench, Allen wrench locks here. So someone had the ability to come in and open this, this sign and insert this poster. At the bottom it says PhiladelphiaVote.com, EaglesVote.com. Well, it's also giving off the impression that the Eagles are officially promoting this display. And I just want to stop that. And not necessarily stop it, but point out now that this is a false advertisement. The things that we have been getting hit with throughout this entire election process. So we need the truth out of people, our candidates, as well as the people that work for the candidates. And that's the whole point right here, to try and get everyone to see that Philadelphia is being deceived. Yeah, he's right about that. So apparently um, he was actually out there hours after um, the report came out that um, those ads were actually up there. And of course, you know, it was actually um, um, Labor Day. So a lot of people not working. So he took it upon himself to actually go out there and say, hey, this is a lie. This is false advertising. But I'm pretty sure even if it wasn't a holiday, do you guys really think anybody in the city of Philadelphia would have done something about that? I would probably think not. However, if it actually said that um, the Eagles were for Trump, oh boy, you can best believe, man, the city would be all over it. They would be all over it, taking it down. It would have came down immediately, folks. I'm willing to bet that. But since, you know, it was um, the Eagles are for Kamala Harris. Uh, it's OK. We'll just, we'll just let it slide. But shout out to this Eagles fan. And he said enough. I'm not going to tolerate this. This is false advertising. And this is pretty much election interference. So they have it, guys. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.